Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics Now Project Manager and Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. In this video, I'm going to talk about customer posting groups. So let's take a look at what's needed for the posting groups on a customer record. I go into a customer record. There are two specific posting group fields that are needed on the invoicing tab. General business posting group and a customer posting group. Both these fields are mandatory to be able to post a transaction to the customer. What's the purpose of these? The customer posting group links the code, and it could be numeric or alphanumeric or alpha, as in this case, we see it's domestic. What's our options? We drop down, we see we have a domestic employee or international. So where does the customer belong to? Is it a domestic customer? Is it an international customer? Or is it actually an employee that maybe you do sales to an employee? It could be one or the other. The code is actually linked to your trial balance receivables account. So it's almost as uh, if I was to create a sales order or sales invoice to customer 10,000 that I'm on now, that is tied to a domestic, that means the receivables account is directly tied to GL number 10400. Same goes for an employee. If it's an employee type of customer, the receivables account, GL account's gonna go to 10600 and so forth. So you can tie each specific code to a GL trial balance number that you then tie this code to the customer. So if I wanted to sell, if my customer is a domestic customer, I know by posting a transaction to this customer, it's actually going to not only create a subledger, but it's also directly going to my GL trial balance AR number. Similarly to the business posting group, we have an option of, is it domestic or international? Very similar. They don't have to be the same. They could be different, all based on your needs. So you could have totally different codes, but we're just using this as an example. Pretty much cut and dry. Is it a domestic customer or is it international? So the difference between the business posting group from the customer posting group is this dictates the actual sales accounts of where it's going to. So if I make a sale, that it is to a domestic customer and it's for a retail sale, I know my sales is gonna to go to 40200. I could actually specify if it's a service related account, which this will get into later, is based on the type of item or product, then the sales revenue goes into 40100. I'm gonna take this filter off so we can see a difference. So based on my international type customer, or my sales will go to 40300, or is it gonna be my domestic type customer that's gonna to go to 40200? So you see, based on my business posting group that I assign to my customer, whether it's a domestic customer or international customer, and I make a retail sale, I could track where my sales account is gonna land on my trial balance. As you notice, my domestic goes to 40200. My international goes to 40300. So I could actually dictate and send where my sales are going to land within my trial balance. Now, of course, I do not need to separate it, but this is one area where you have the ability to dictate where you want the sales to go to. They could all go to the same sales account, or you have the ability to go to different sales accounts. So that's the advantage you get with business posting group and customer posting groups. These two codes are mandatory. You cannot post a transaction without having both of these codes set up. So they are required because again, they are a direct link to your GL account. This keeps everything in sync, meaning that your trial balance number that we just pointed out is directly linked to the customer, which is directly linked to your sales subledger. Hope this helps. Thank you for spending some time watching.
Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us at, if you have any further questions. Thanks again.